Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So earlier today, I was on Facebook and I came across an article on the Griot about a white man by the name of Milo Yiannopoulos. He's the editor of Breitbart News. This man has set up a scholarship fund that is exclusively for white men. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Breitbart, Breitbart is a right-wing publication. It is a racist publication. It is a publication that is used by the alt-right movement. And for those who don't know, the alt-right movement is nothing but a white supremacist movement. So you have this man who launched this scholarship fund for white men. And I'm going to read an excerpt from an article in the Griot, and then I'm going to provide further commentary. So it says the privilege grant is available to white men who want to pursue college on an equal footing with their female, queer, and ethnic minority classmates. An equal footing. I don't have a problem with people receiving scholarships. My problem is this suggestion that the white man is not on equal footing with other groups of people. That is preposterous. That is ridiculous. That is absurd to even suggest that. The, only, the problem that I have is with this notion that somehow affirmative action is discrimination, that somehow affirmative action is reverse racism, that somehow affirmative action is a preference for black people. Let's talk about this for a second. Here you have this white man whining about being on an equal footing with other groups of people when it's the goddamn white man that dominates economically. When you look at the Fortune 500 companies, who owns those companies? Who are the shareholders? Who are the CEOs of most of those companies? The white man. When you look at wealth in this country, who's the wealthiest of all these groups of people in America? The white man. When you look at the economic disparities, when you look at the, the wealth disparities between black and white people, it's clear and obvious that that white man is still on top economically. As I've cited before, in the Nation magazine, it pointed out how it would take black people over 200 years to catch up economically with white people. But yet you have people like this man, Yiannopoulos, whining and crying about being on an equal footing with black people, whining and crying about affirmative action being reverse discrimination when the white man is in charge economically. When it comes to education, white people are more educated than black people for a variety of reasons. When it comes to education, one of those reasons why black people are behind is because for centuries, for decades, black people were denied the access to equal education in this country. We were denied the chance to get a higher education. Many schools barred black people from getting an education, no matter what kind of grades they received, no matter what kind of um, test scores they received, no matter what kind of extracurricular activities our people were involved in. They were denied admission to these schools simply because of the color of their skin. Whereas you know, it was open doors for white people to get higher education, in particular the white man. But yet you have this person whining and crying about being on equal footing with minorities. Man, get the hell out of here with that nonsense. Schools didn't bar white people from attending them. White people weren't denied a right to an equal education. Even today, with this watered-down version of affirmative action, there are programs in place to benefit white people who are suffering financially, to benefit white people who come from rural areas. Affirmative action has been so diluted 
that damn near everybody benefits from it. Every ethnic group, women benefit from it, and even various groups of white men. So spare me your white tears. Stop whining about being on an equal footing when you people are placed on top in this society. Not only are you on top like economically and in terms of education, but when you look at the political system, it's white people who dominate the political process in the system. It's white people who are, for the most part, dominant in the Senate. Most of those senators are white. Most of the representatives are white. Most of the governors are white. Most of the mayors are white. But yet you had this man whining and crying about equal footing. Basically trying to claim that affirmative action is some kind of program set in place that puts white people or white men in particular in a position of being oppressed, in a position of being in some kind of disadvantage. These people are lucky that all black people are asking for is affirmative action when we should be asking for and demanding reparations for all the hell that we've been through for all these centuries and all these decades.